In the last century, TV spy Maxwell Smart used a phone booth to enter his top secret office. Most booths have since been 86th, made obsolete by the 21st century smartphone. But would you believe it? They're getting a second life. Mark Phillips now on the reincarnation of the phone booth. The British famously have trouble letting go of old things. The monarchy, double-decker buses, taxi cabs that look like they were designed 60 years ago because they basically were. So when the cell phone turned those classic red phone booths that have been around for about 80 years into a waste of space, there was a problem. What to do with them? As nobody was using them, the phone company started taking them away. They come here to what looks like a phone booth graveyard, except it's not. It's a magical transition zone to a second life. Your job was just to collect them. Get, them get rid of them. them. Yep. A second life given to them by Tony Inglis. And then you thought, wait a minute. Well, we just can't let them go. You know, you just, we, can't, just, we can't let them go. I don't know what we're going to do with them, but we just can't let them go. When Tony started refurbishing them, surprise, surprise, people started buying them. This was the and not just because like old phones, phones yes, and the funny old shillings and pence coins well, they take are fun. So what do I do, do? Push it down? Yeah, just push it down. Woo! It's gorgeous. Those booths, it turns out, had legs. They started showing up around the country, put to all sorts of new uses. That old booth on the village green turned out to be a great place to put a defibrillator. Local libraries found them handy places from which to run book exchanges. <laughs> How about a coffee shop? We're good, thank you. They were already in prime retail locations. Or a hat stall, florist, salad bar, pump up the jam, pump it up. or an antisocial disco. And, the jam is and perhaps the most ironic use. We are able to replace the battery. In this one operates as a cell phone repair shop. How's that for recycling? In a throwaway culture, these are keepers. This is a big lump of something, you know, something permanent that you can touch and handle and you feel that there's a definite presence about it. Yeah, here's the big lumps of something. Mark Phillips, CBS News, Surrey, England. Mark Phillips, London Calling.